Hi everyone, happy October. I know it has been a while since I posted a video on this channel. I didn't really film in September. Things just got so crazy with work and very hectic, so I apologize for that, but I do have a few videos coming up for this October, so stay tuned. So it is a new month. I am trying something new, and I wanted to bring you all along on this little experiment of mine. So for the month of October, my personal goal is to start and actually establish a regular exercise routine which I currently don't have. Besides going for walks in my neighborhood, I'm actually not that active anymore. And as someone living with type 1 diabetes, I know that it's really important to stay active. So I want to change this and implement some regular exercise into my daily routine. So back when I was in grad school, if you've been on this channel for a while, you might remember that I used to do ballet classes three to four times a week. Now with the pandemic and working from home, I can still do online classes through Zoom, but with my work schedule and also my weird sciatic nerve injury that we're still trying to figure out, I can't really do classes that often. So that leaves me with doing nothing. <laughs> with type 1 diabetes, there are so many layers to exercise. We can't just exercise whenever we want and drink water and be fine. We have to account for a lot of different things to make sure that our blood sugar is stable throughout the exercise and after. Since I've always danced growing up when I was a kid, as a teen, and as an adult, I've always exercised at night because dance classes are typically at night after school or after work. So this means I've always had to account for the food I'm eating, the insulin I'm taking, and really prepare before classes. However, I've heard of a lot of other people living with diabetes who have had a lot of success exercising first thing in the morning. And this is because you only have your basal or your long-term insulin on board and you don't have any food in your body. So it kind of eliminates those two factors. Now, of course, I've never tried this before. I've actually never exercised in the morning. So over the next five days, I'm going to try exercising every morning as soon as I wake up. And we will see how this goes because I am seriously the laziest person in the morning. So yes, I'm excited to bring you along on my journey this week. I have no idea how this is going to turn out because like I said, I've never done this before. I'm not sure what my blood sugars are going to be like, but we'll see. I also want to note that I'm not going to be doing any intense exercise. I'm going to keep it pretty moderate and stick to something like yoga or Pilates and just a quick 20 to 30 minute video on YouTube. And just a disclaimer before I start this, I give a lot of disclaimers I know, but I just want to make sure that you are all safe, anyone watching this video. I am by no means a medical professional, so you should not take anything you see in this video as medical advice. I'm just someone living with type 1 diabetes who's sharing my journey and my experience. Just a reminder that we're all so different. Our bodies are also different in how we react to exercise and insulin dosing. So if you see me doing something in this video, it might work for me, but it might not work for you. So you should always, always, always talk to your diabetes education team if you want to work out an exercise routine for yourself. Good morning. It is officially October. It's October 1st which means it is time for morning exercise. So what I did this morning is on YouTube, I just looked up morning Pilates and I found this sunrise Pilates workout with Lottie Murphy. So it's half an hour and I'm gonna do that this morning. And it's 7.30 a.m. Normally I would 100% be asleep by now. Rafi would be up, but I would be asleep. I officially start work at 9 a.m. but I usually don't wake up till 8.30, which is really bad. So. This needed to change anyways. This morning my blood sugar is very, very stable as you can see. And it is 6.4, so it's in range for me. I haven't had anything to eat. I haven't bolused anything, obviously. I am going to have water though because I don't wanna feel sick. I mean, I wanna stay hydrated. And in terms of preparing for exercise, I think I'm just gonna try to do this class without doing anything and see what happens to my blood sugar. And then if it does drop, then maybe I'll try doing a temporary basal for a little bit before my class next time. Let's get started with the class this morning. I am super excited to try this. So I still have an hour before work. I did it, Rafi. Good job. Yay. So I'm definitely not used to working out in the morning. That was like 
weird to be sweating in the morning but it was really nice and i feel like it got my blood pumping it got my circulation going and i feel pretty energized actually 7.0 so it went up a little bit but it seems to be very steady still so a bit crazy that it wasn't affected but i guess i didn't really have much insulin on board so maybe it is a good time of day for me to exercise good morning it is friday october 2nd so day two of my morning exercise experiment i didn't really sleep much last night i was up a lot I just had one of those nights where I was lying in bed awake, any little sound woke me up and my mind was racing, just one of those weird nights. So I wanna be really gentle with my body today and only do maybe 15 to 20 minutes of something very light. I'm honestly not feeling that well because of my lack of sleep and I'm not feeling myself today. Blood sugar is stable at 5.9, but if you look back, I was a little high in the night. I went up to like 10.5 and corrected. However, I don't have any insulin on board anymore. So that is good. So since everything worked out really well yesterday, my blood sugar was actually so good all morning and I didn't do anything before exercising, which is so weird to me because normally I'm used to like setting a temporary basil, having a snack. So I'm gonna try again today and just not do anything and do like a little 15 to 20 minute Pilates workout and then see what happens after. Okay, so I found this nice little 13 minute um, quick morning Pilates routine by Lottie Murphy again. Oh yes, and I get people asking all the time, what do I do with my insulin pump when I exercise? If I'm keeping it on, which I do for Pilates and yoga, I usually just have it clipped here to the side of my pants and then I'll just move it as needed. So if I'm doing something on my back, I'll move it to the front. If I'm doing something on my front, I'll move it to the side or the back. It's pretty good. This clip is good and it, it doesn't really come off. So I'll link this clip in the description box below. That was a nice little workout, very short, but I mean, it was 13 minutes. So what did I expect? Um, I personally think that for me, I'm gonna wanna find ones that are at least 20 minutes because this one, I didn't really start sweating and I feel like my circulation was going, my blood was flowing, but just at the very end. So I definitely wanna increase the length, but for today, that was good because I'm super tired today. So we'll see what happens to the blood sugar. I'm at 6.7 right now, so it doesn't really seem to have been affected. If anything, it went up a little bit. How did your workout go? I only did like core. So I feel like yesterday I got kind of core, arms and legs in. Yeah, this was really short, but I was so tired, so it's okay. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. I just woke up and I'm being a little bit quiet because got a sleeping husband in the other room that wants to sleep in on a Saturday, unlike me. So this morning I am at 7.9 millimoles per liter. I'm debating on whether or not I wanna give a correction for that. That's a bit higher than I would like to be in the morning. I don't wanna give insulin because for me, I'm very sensitive to insulin when I'm exercising. So I know if I give a correction and exercise for 30 minutes, I'm probably gonna go low. 7.9 isn't too high either. Sorry, I'm just like thinking out loud here. It's sometimes just like so hard to make decisions as someone with type one diabetes. I wish I could talk to you all through the screen and get your opinion. So I think what I'm gonna do is give like a micro correction, just a tiny, tiny correction just to bump it down enough, but hopefully I won't go low. And this morning I'm gonna do this 30 minute Pilates full core and body by Isoelli. about to sit down and have a lovely Saturday morning breakfast. But before I do, I just wanted to check in with you guys because it has been exactly an hour since I finished my Pilates class or my Pilates video. And I just wanted to show you my blood sugar. So I am at 5.9, but you can see that I did drop after the class and my pump suspended for quite some time. So that just kind of shows how sensitive I am to insulin when I'm exercising. I gave hardly any insulin, just like a tiny amount for me. And I still dropped quite a bit. 
but luckily I have that suspend feature on my pump. It all worked out. I got lucky with this one and I'm at a nice stable 5.9, ready to eat breakfast and just carry on with my weekend. I just finished my day five of morning exercise and I am at my desk just about to start work for the day but I wanted to check in with you all to give you my final thoughts on this little experiment that I did this week. So overall I have to say I really liked doing exercise first thing in the morning. As you saw in this video, it worked really well for my blood sugars. Like they just remained so stable. And I feel like it also helped my blood sugars remain stable throughout the morning, which was really nice. It just so happens to work really well for me for the type of exercise I'm doing as well as the duration of exercise I'm doing. I'm not sure though if this would work as well if I was doing something really intense like going for a run or doing a HIIT workout, but for what I'm doing, it's really good and it works for me. I feel so good after. I feel energized starting the day this way. I'm waking up earlier now. I don't feel as lethargic going to work in the morning. And of course, I've only done it for five days, but I have noticed a really big difference. So. I think I'm gonna keep up with this and this is gonna be a routine, which is so exciting. But I wanna make this a realistic routine. So realistically, I am not gonna get up every morning at seven and then go exercise. That's just not me. I am someone who likes to have more balance. So I figured if I set a goal for myself to do it three times a week. So I'm gonna try to follow through with that for the rest of the fall, we will see. But You'll probably see me doing this in vlogs from now on and I'm so excited that I got to try this out with you and kind of show you how it worked for me. Now I really wanna hear from you all. Do you exercise first thing in the morning when you wake up? Let me know if you do. Let me know how your blood sugars react and what kind of exercise you do. I'm so curious as to how everyone handles exercise because I know we're all so different. That is it for me. I will see you soon with some more vlogs. I hope everyone's doing well during this time. Sending you all my love and I'll see you next time.